Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important problem from definite integrals involving greatest integer function, right? So here uh, we have to evaluate this integral uh, which is from 0 to uh, square root of 3 and the integrand is uh, greatest integer of x square minus 1, right? So here the limits of integration varies from uh, 0 to square root of 3. Right. So let us see uh, how we can uh, solve these type of integrals uh, where the integrand is greatest integer function. Right. So this problem can be solved uh, by two methods. Right. The first one is uh, uh, by method of substitution and the second uh, method is by method of inequalities. Right. Or we can say by uh, directly using the definition of uh, greatest integer function right so here i uh, will prefer the method of inequalities right and uh, will also uh, make use of the definition of greatest integer function uh, to redefine this uh, uh, integrand right so let us start and let us first call this integral as i right and here x varies from 0 to uh, square root of uh, 3 and uh, let us take f of x is equal to uh, the greatest integer of x square minus 1, right? So here uh, we have assumed that the greatest integer of x square minus 1 is uh, equal to f of x. So our integral, it reduces to a 0 to square root of 3 and here we have f of x dx, right? Okay. Now uh, let us uh, redefine this function f of x, right? For this, uh, what we will do, uh, we'll first take the, uh, uh, the lower limit, right? And then we'll take the upper limit, right? So when x is equal to 0, then what is the value of f of 0, right? So we'll find out the value of f of 0 by taking x is equal to 0. So here we have... Uh, uh, greatest integer of 0 square minus 1 that is greatest integer of minus 1 and we know that the greatest integer of any integer is the integer itself so here we have minus 1 right now let us take x is equal to square root of 3 so we have f of square root of 3 is greatest integer of square root of 3 square minus 1 and here we have 3 minus 1 so this is greatest integer of 2 uh, that is equal to 2, right? So we see that uh, when x uh, varies from uh, varies from uh, 0 to square root of 3, right? So the limits of integration varies from 0 to square root of 3. Then uh, the integrand, the integrand f of x, it varies from it varies from minus 1 to uh, 2, right? So let us uh, uh, represent uh, these two numbers on the real number line, right? So here we have minus 1 and here we have 2, right? And we see that uh, between minus 1 and 2, uh, we have two integers, uh, 0 and 1, right? So this is a very important step. Uh, while uh, evaluating these type of uh, integrals. So we have two integers between minus 1 and 2, right? And uh, whenever we come across with greatest integer function, our prime objective is to search for integers, right? So when x varies from 0 to square root of 3, then f of x varies from minus 1 to 2 right and f of x is our greatest integer function right so we have to search for the integers uh, which lies between minus 1 and 2 right so now what we will do uh, we'll uh, redefine this function uh, f of x right so the function f of x can be uh, redefined uh, like this so now see uh, f of x, uh, it varies from minus 1 to 2, right? So when uh, f of x is equal to uh, minus 1, uh, it means 
uh, this uh, quantity which is inside the greatest integer uh, function symbol uh, it must lie between uh, minus 1 and 0 right minus 1 and 0 so f of x varies from minus 1 to 2 right so the first value of f of x is minus 1 right and f of x is equal to minus 1 whenever x square minus 1 it lies between minus 1 and 0 this is due to the definition of greatest integer function right similarly uh, f of x takes the value 0 uh, when uh, this quantity x square minus 1 it lies between uh, 0 and 1 right 0 and 1 and f of x is equal to 1 when uh, this quantity x square minus 1 it lies between 1 and 2 right 1 and 2 right so this is how uh, we can uh, redefine uh, this function f of x in these three intervals that is from minus 1 to 0, 0 to 1 and then 1 to 2, right? So we have three inequalities here and our aim is to uh, solve these three inequalities uh, to get the range for uh, x, right? So now uh, let us solve these uh, three inequalities one by one uh, to get the range for uh, x, right? So here uh, we have the first inequality. So what we will do, we'll add one uh, throughout this inequality. So here we have one minus one, then we have one plus x square minus one, and here we have one plus zero. So this is zero, and here we have x square, and this is one, right? And now if we take the square root, and then we have here x and here we have 1, right? So, uh, this inequality uh, is reduced to this one. That is 0 and here we have x and here we have 1, right? Now, let us solve this inequality. Now, here uh, we have uh, 0 less than or equal to x square minus 1 less than 1. Let us add 1 throughout. So, here we have 1. Here we have x square because 1 and 1 uh, minus 1 get cancelled and here we have 2, right? Taking the square root, we have 1, here we have x and here we have a square root of 2, right? So now uh, this inequality is reduced to 1 less than or equal to x and here we have a square root of 2, right? Now let us take this inequality that is 1 less than or equal to x square minus 1 and here less than 2 right so here uh, what we will do we'll again add one throughout this inequality so here we have one plus one two here we have x square minus one and one get cancelled and here we have three two plus one three taking the square root throughout we have a square root of two here we have x and here we have a square root of three right so here we have a square root of two and x and square root of three right so viewers uh, uh, what we have done so far uh, we have solved these three inequalities to get the range of uh, x right so here uh, in the first case when f of x is equal to minus 1 it means x should lie between 0 and 1 including 0 right and uh, when f of x is 0 it means x should lie between 1 and square root of 2 and when f of x is 1 it means x should lie between square root of 2 and square root of 3 and we can see that uh, here we have 0 which is the lower limit and here we have square root of 3 that is the upper limit so we start with the uh, lower limit and we end up with uh, the uh, upper limit right so we have now the integral i as a sum of three integrals right so the first one is from 0 to 1 so here we have 0 and here we have 1 the second one is from 1 to square root of 2 and the third one is from square root of 2 to square root of uh, 3 right and uh, here 
uh, when x uh, goes from 0 to 1 f of x which is this uh, integrand f of x is minus 1 so here we'll write minus uh, 1 okay now this is dx and when we go from 1 to square root of 2 f of x is 0 so here we write 0 and when uh, x goes from root 2 to root 3 f of x is 1 so we have here 1 dx so now we have three simple integrals and uh, uh, this integral is 0 right because here the integrand is 0 so we have now uh, integral 0 to 1 and minus dx and this integral is 0 and we have here uh, root 2 to root 3 and this is dx right now the first integral is simply x and here we have negative sign 0 to 1 and uh, this integral is also x we have root 2 to root uh, 3 right so now we can simply substitute the limits and we'll take the difference so here we have 1 minus 0 and here we have a square root of 3 minus a square root of 2 so this is minus 1 plus root 3 minus root 2 right so viewers uh, the value of this uh, integral uh, that is 0 to root 3 greatest integer of x square minus 1 is given by minus 1 plus root 3 uh, minus square root of 2 right so this is how we can solve uh, these type of uh, definite integrals